So the title of this session is Translating the Science of Community to Criminal Justice Practice and Back. And I think it's fair to say that historically criminology and criminal justice have had a bias on individuals. Individual focus on much of the research with respect to crime causation and individual focus with respect to much of the criminal justice policy and practice, be it rehabilitation, deterrence, what have you. Uh, despite that bias, we have about 100 years of research that indicates that crime is not randomly distributed across space. In fact, crime is concentrated within certain neighborhoods, certain communities. So there's an intuitive sense by those of us that do research as well as those of us who do criminal justice practice that context matters. But the question is, how does context matter? Why does context matter? Is it something about the community structure? Is it something about the community process? And most importantly, what could be done about it? Now in the early 1990s, the National Institute of Justice uh, funded, along with the MacArthur Foundation, the Project on Human Development in Chicago Neighborhoods. This was the largest project that NIJ has funded to date. And the focus of that project was to understand the effects of neighborhoods on human development. And I'm pleased that the scientific director of that project is here with us today, Robert Sampson. What we're gonna do with this session is Rob is gonna begin talking about uh, his work uh, from the P uh, PHCDN project and he's gonna take uh, a considerable amount of time to lay out uh, the, some of the key findings uh, from his work on communities and crime. And then followed uh, Chief uh, Commissioner Davis, Edward Davis, uh, will spend about 15 minutes uh, providing some commentary remarks, followed by Chief Michael Davis, uh, 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 we'll also do about 15 minutes of, of remarks, and then I'll allow Rob a chance to um, respond, and then hopefully we will have a very interesting give and take. Let me briefly introduce the three panelists uh, for you, uh, st starting with uh, Commissioner Edward Davis. Uh, Edward Davis is the 40th police commissioner of the city of Boston. Uh, prior to becoming commissioner, he served as a superintendent of police in Lowell, Massachusetts. Commissioner Davis has received numerous awards, including the National Leadership Award from the Police Executive Research Forum. He's also received the prestigious National Institute of Justice Pickett Fellowship and attended the John F. Kennedy School of Government Program for Senior Government Executives at Harvard University. Uh, Commissioner Davis holds master's degrees in criminal justice from Anna Maria College and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice from New Hampshire College. Commissioner Davis has served on the Police Executive Research Forum Board of the Directors and was the founding member of the Massachusetts uh, Major City Chiefs Association. Chief Michael Davis. Michael Davis is a sworn police officer for 19 years and chief of police for the Brooklyn Park Police Department for more than three years. Prior to joining the Brooklyn Park, uh, Park Police Department, Chief Davis was a sector commander for the Minneapolis Police Department. Uh, Chief Davis holds a master's degree in organizational management and a bachelor's degree in criminal justice. Chief Davis also served as a community faculty at the Metropolitan State University since 2008. Robert Sampson is the Henry Ford's II Professor of Social Science at Harvard University and a senior advisor in the social sciences at the Radcliffe Institute for Advanced Science. He's also served as chair of the sociology department at Harvard from 2005 to 2010. And for this academic year, he is a visiting scholar at the Russell Sage Foundation in New York City. Uh, Rob has won many awards uh, uh, and, and honors for his work. And I would, I would say that even though he has a long list of uh, research topics, including, as Tom mentioned, crime in the life course, uh, he is the foremost uh, urban sociologist around the world. Uh, and he's gonna be talking about his work from the Project on Human Development. So please welcome Robert Sampson.